Congrats on the film. It's quite an endeavor. So how much energy do you feel you need to have to kind of embody someone like Bob Marley? A lot. Yeah, he had a, he had a tremendous energy. And uh, yeah, Bob, he was on it, you know. He, he had a lot of energy and he, he was, um, if he wasn't working, he was playing football. And he was traveling and he was writing and he was a, bu he was a busy, busy man. Um, and I think just the process of making this film and, and how many moving parts and it was a, it was a mm. huge undertaking um, for everyone. Uh, so yeah, in, in a way, over the period of shooting, I had a, a I had my work cut out as well. I, I can imagine. Plus, you know, it's totally the kind of project where you kind of start discovering things about the artist that you may not have known, correct? And through what research channels did you find the most interesting things about his life that you didn't know? Through his friends and family, for sure. You know, a lot of pers the personal stories and people who knew Bob when he was 12, 13, 14. You know, his children's memory, mem his children's memories of him, uh, <laughs> his work colleagues. Um, so I, I spoke to a, a really wide, like a variety of people who all had, you know, so many stories. Um, but really, I guess, Sadella sent me, you know, a file with lots of interviews mm. that the family have of Bob, you know, talking that you can't find on YouTube and you can't find online. And, and so I spent, I spent most of my time listening to those from the beginning all the way through to the end. Um, Did you also, yeah, sorry. No, no, that's, that's it. That was a, that was a huge part. And, and, and of course the music was a huge part, but do you also re-listen, re-listen to the lyrics, re-listen to the music from kind of a different viewpoint? Now? Yeah. Yeah, now I understand everything he's saying. The music's completely opened up. Um, mm. Yeah, and that's what I, I, I hope, you know, that, that the film might encourage people who just know the Legend album or just know the, you know, the famous songs to to re-engage and really check in and to what Bob was saying. Um, his, his music is so powerful. And when, as all Jamaicans do, you know, when you understand what he's saying in all of his songs, the, the power of it, you know, it cranks up to another level. I, I, I can imagine, and I can also imagine that emulating his, his body language must have been a challenge because he had such a, you know, specific way of moving. Uh, th does that mean you had to, you know, frame by frame, look at how he moved or how did you get into his own vibe? The choreography, you know, there's a lot of help, you know, there's a lot of coaches and people who are ex mm -hmm. experts in that. But physical ticks and gestures, I always feel like are the last... Is there the icing on the cake? You, you can only really bring those into a character once you've really kind of understood and um, absorbed their psychology and, and what, their, what their struggle is and, and who they are and where they're coming from. But Bob was so expressive and so animated in, in, in moments. And, um, but yeah, it's tricky because you know, lots of the interviews, he's talking to the press so it's a version of him. Um, yes. But he did this thing, Bob. Okay, in the in interviews, I kept hearing, you know, recorded interviews. I kept hearing this, and I asked Nev. Oh, I asked, so there was rhythm. No, he he. Bob would do that to emphasize. So he'd he'd ah. click, and Neville told me that it's Bob clicking. So he'd, you know. Um, I did it in a few scenes. I don't think it's in the film, but yeah, little little things like that. Are, uh, they feel like little wins, you know, when you when you find out stuff like that. Because I don't like what is that? It's mm. it's just something that he did. I don't know anyone who does that to make a point, you know. Well, you know, he's he's unlike anyone. That's for well, sure. Yeah. That's what we can all agree on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it, it was very nice to see the scenes in, in Batsy Park because I live by the park and you know it's like my neighborhood and 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 that blue uh, that blue badge uh, that blue badge house. So how much being in his neighborhood in London also uh, help uh, you know the feeling of how it was at the time? Amazing, it was great, and but it was mainly mm. 
it was mainly to do with having Neville Garrick there because Neville also mm. lived in Battersea with Bob in the house. So he had so many stories and uh, yeah, he was someone who I could, um, you know, ask anything. And he remembered, he wrote, he wrote the lyrics to Bob's songs as Bob was figuring them out. You know, never was in the room writing them down. He was there when many of the songs on the album were realized. So he, it was, I mean, really special to, uh, to have Neville there. Yeah, no, it, it, it did feel like a special project uh, in general and having, you know, Ziggy and Rita so involved in it. So uh, how present were they on set? How amazing was it to have them as a direct reference to whatever you wanted to ask, I suppose? The best, yeah. It was the, I mean, yeah, it was the only... I can't imagine make, the film wouldn't have happened without that. Um, but Ziggy was there every day mm. and... And I, I really needed him to be there. Uh, I didn't know until we started that I needed him to be there. I needed him to, um, I needed him, I needed his approval step by step. Um, mm -hmm. I've grown up with an awareness of how much Bob means to so many people, um, particularly Jamaica. And I didn't want to get anything wrong. And, and I don't normally feel like that because you need to make mistakes to, to get to the to gold. But I really needed Ziggy there. Um, and I'm just very grateful that he stayed because I don't know if I would have got through it without him. Um, when he did that, you know, you were good. And if he didn't like something, you know he's going to come and tell you. And I really, I really appreciate that, um, that honesty. Uh, mm. And I've grown up with Jamaicans, so I know that honesty was never going to be, ne never going to be an issue. Uh, my last question is about uh, the song that resonates most with you. Resonates. That's a good question because favorite is different, isn't it? That's just like sort of personal, which one I like the most. Um, there's so many it changes so much um, but so I say so just say is uh, I find to be a really powerful song and I think you know no it was um, uh, yeah I don't know so many so many yeah, I love Concrete Jungle because I know how early it was as well. It was really early. I know how young Bob was when he when he put that together. And it's a really genius, genius album. Mm -hmm. 